welcome to a new tutorial here welcome and thank you for watching I'm gonna um, start with this tutorial by saying that um, thank you for following me and always um, don't forget to, to like this video and subscribe to my channel um, I'm gonna go into my home page okay to show you how to work with the accordion okay let me delete this delete the bottom okay let me go into the background move the background so we can work with a blank panel okay and I'm gonna redu reduce the height okay for for this example there's a few things that you have to keep in mind when you're using the accordion here on Chile. If we go to the accordion, okay, you have several options here. You have if this uh, accordion with um, four elements, you have this accordion with three elements. Um, basically, you're choosing here the style of the accordion and the amount of text and things you want to have, okay? So we're gonna use a, a very simple one. I'm gonna use this one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna drag and drop. Uh, let me see. Okay. Make sure uh, that if you want to move the accordion, you have to make sure that you click outside the box. Okay, because if you click inside of the box, you see that it's not moving. Okay. Another thing that you, that you have to keep in mind is that. When you open the accordion, you have to make sure that it doesn't touch, okay, it doesn't touch any panel, any panel, panel while you're working on it, okay. You can later on make uh, the accordion to touch the panel if you want to, but make sure that it's not covering any elements also, okay. So let's go and add another accordion. So we have here, I'm gonna add four accordion styles here, okay. So you can add a title here okay and you can see that you have several options that if you click on it if you click on, on inside you'll see that it, it will automatically change to this if I click on this okay it's, it's going to be moved to every single option of the accordion but if I want to select the entire accordion I have to make sure to click outside of the box so you can see that I can add new accordions or I can choose this one and start modifying this one. So I can go to headline and change the, head, the title for this accordion. So it will be like example one or let's put video one. Okay. Go to this, video two. Go to the other one. Okay. You can see that I can even click the other one because it's behind the, the panel. So I have to make sure that the panel is larger than the accordion okay because if I open this one you can see that the accordion is even touching um, on the other panel even if I increase the, the panel height so I have to close this close this and click on this one so I'm gonna change the headline for this title accordion video 3 I'm gonna close the accordion and open the other one and video 4 okay uh -huh, I think you can put the title on the side. So if I click on video one, I have to make sure to close the video one because it doesn't close automatically. Okay, you can put the title on the left, the title on the middle, the title on the other on the other side, or on on justified if you're uh, using a title has a paragraph. Okay, so I'm gonna just leave it at the middle. If I want to drop text inside of the video one. Okay, I just have to go to add elements, uh, create a new element. So let's say that I want to put a title H5, okay, inside my uh, accordion. So it will be like model, model one, or let's say that this is welcome to Buter. Okay, something like this. So if I want to drop, uh, let's say I want to drop a video. Okay, so I can go to go uh, add elements and then I'm gonna, gonna scroll all the way down and hit on v, uh, video okay so you have three options here YouTube Vimeo and Wistia so I'm gonna click on YouTube and I'm gonna drag and drop inside my accordion so I'm gonna open it again you will see that the video is over here 
So let's say that I want to increase the size of the accordion on the video one. So I'm going to go to size and I'm going <clears> to <throat> increase the size. Okay, so this is the size for my title. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is because I liked it this way. I'm going to put it on 50. Okay, something like this 50. Okay, make sure that everything else is 50. But if I want to increase this, the size in the in, where the video is, I'm gonna change the container height, which it will make my my container larger. Okay. Uh, this also works for the other for the other options like on video two. Okay, I'm gonna close the video one, and on video two, I'm gonna include another video and another text. So I'm gonna include an H5, and also gonna um gonna include a video. Okay, so you can. Also, to this you can include an email marketing form. Okay, you can increase the size for the video too. Like, if you want them to to see the video one, the video two, the video three, and when they reach into the video four, you will have an email marketing form. You can do it. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop a video, just for this example. You can see over here. Here it is, and the video two title. So let's say that you include also a video 3 and on video 4 you will put a video with a text with an email marketing form so you will do the same exact steps but adding an email marketing form so I'm gonna drag and drop that email marketing form inside my accordion okay so here it is I have to make sure to select a list so I'm gonna choose phone number one so it will load automatically the fields that I have okay so I'm gonna increase the container height Okay, so it can fit my video and it can fit my um, it can fit my uh, my email marketing form. If I want to increase, okay, the um, like on the size, I just have to use this little dot to increase the size of my of my accordion. Okay, unfortunately, the accordion does not close. If I if you open the video one, okay, it doesn't automatically close if you go to video two. You will see that it will, it will automatically leave the the video one open. Okay. Um, let me see another thing. Uh, you can also I think you can also add uh, like a background here. You can add uh, like a color, okay, for the heater and a color for the container. Like if I open the video, you see the container. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it on, on blank. But you have to make sure that if you also have like an element here, like an email marketing form down here on this panel, okay, or any other element like an, an image, if you open the video three and the video four, okay, it will it will like overlap, okay. So you have to make sure that when you put the the accordion, you will have enough space, okay, or you don't have any 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 stuff covering the accordion, or the accordion can cannot be larger than than the panel okay I can just use a panel like this but I have to make sure to move the, the the options aside or try to include like a box so people or, or like a, a reminder that people um, to make sure that people need to close um, the other option before opening that one okay so um, the accordion is going to be updated um, on a few weeks so the option to close the video to uh, the video one if I open the video two it will automatically close the, the, the other one okay but now uh, for now you cannot you cannot work on that way um, on mobile if you go to mobile let's see how the, the the accordion works on mobile so if I open the video one you will see the video one if I open the video two but since the mobile is responsive it's not gonna overlap anything okay so if I open the video one and the video two it's just gonna increase the size, okay? It's gonna make like the, the the website responsive all the way down. So you will see that nothing is being covered, like on the desktop version. So this is the example for the accordion. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.